Well, a mistrial has been declared in the murder case involving a former Pasco police officer. Richard Aguirre is charged with first degree murder for the death of 27 year old Ruby Das. This happened back in 1986. Now a new trial date is set for March 7th, 2022. Kyle Simchuk joining us now with more details about that mistrial. State prosecutors argued the jury hadn't been out very long, just a few days. But when they came back today, they told the judge they wouldn't be able to reach a verdict in a reasonable amount of time. Aguirre's defense had the option of sending jurors back, but instead elected for a mistrial. Aguirre is accused of killing 27-year-old Ruby Doss. Her body was found near the old Playfair horse tracks in Spokane in 1986. Now, the judge said jurors never asked any questions and even went for a walk, had lunch, but still could not reach a verdict. After leaving court today, attorneys had the opportunity to speak to jurors. We were in court and heard Aguirre tell his attorney he dropped the ball. The attorney told Aguirre he needs to stop talking to him like that. We asked Aguirre's attorney, John Henry Brown, if his client is happy with his work. He told us, quote, he better be. A hung jury is not a failure by any means. You know, a guilty verdict, a not guilty verdict, a hung jury, that's not a failure in any way. So. We'll be back. And I guess God's plan is not for me to retire. A Gary's attorney, John Henry Brown, has quite the resume. He defended serial killer Ted Bundy and Colton Harris Moore, otherwise known as the Barefoot Bandit. So Richard Aguirre will now face another trial that is set for March 7th. Reporting outside the Spokane County Courthouse, Kyle Simchuk, Krem2 News. Thank you, Kyle. Well, the case wasn't the first time that Richard Aguirre faced charges in connection with the murder of Ruby Das. Aguirre was first charged back in 2015 with killing 27-year-old Ruby Das. Aguirre was charged with strangling Das to death near Playfair Race Course back in 1986, but that case was dismissed two years later over questions about decades-old evidence. Aguirre was also tried on an unrelated rape case in Franklin County back in 2000. 14. The jury in that case also deadlocked, which resulted in a mistrial. That case was retried, and Aguirre was then acquitted in that rape case. Aguirre's defense lawyer is actually one of the best known criminal defense attorneys in the Pacific Northwest. John Henry Brown has represented some of the most notorious defendants, including serial killer Ted Bundy and Colton Harris Moore. That's the Barefoot Bandit. Our sister station in Seattle got a chance to actually sit down with him back in 2016, and he talks about why he defends some of the most high profile criminal cases. You know, I don't defend the crime. I defend the person mm -hmm. and, and there's really is a big difference there. I don't mean that in a uh, knee jerk sort of way. It's, it's true. Right. Uh, do you believe everyone deserves a defense? Oh, absolutely. No question about it. No, I do turn down clients right. <clears throat> for certain reasons um, more and more often now, actually. Um, but uh, sure, everybody, of course, deferred, uh, uh, deserves the best defense possible. Well, if you'd like to know more about the mistrial, just text us the word TRIAL to 509-448-2000. We'll send a link right to your phone.